Hello and welcome to another CAD clip on AutoCAD 2007 uh, talking about 3D and uh, mostly new stuff but um, the one of the things people have don't realize is for quite some time now with uh, AutoCAD solids you've been able to fillet edges between solids okay this is by no means new you've been able to do this for a great deal of time uh, since AutoCAD 2004 at least but doesn't matter we can uh, still take advantage of that in this uh, CAD clip so what I'm talking about here is we can have a solid object and I'm just using a shift middle mouse button here and we can take edges and we can round those edges using the fillet command and it works a little bit differently from the normal way we fillet 2d objects but for the most part it is the same command and what I've done here is I've taken a cylinder and a box and I've unioned them together with my boolean operations and then I've done some filleting and using the chain option of that fillet so I'm just gonna go back to my top view over here and again I can use my visual styles to look at that in different ways as I please okay so I'm gonna start by just drawing a box new objects over here draw a box this big and we'll make it you know about that high okay and then maybe I'll draw a cylinder okay cylinder here and make the cylinder a little bit higher okay let's have a look and see where I put that looks good if that happened to go in at the wrong place or something that ends up being up at this point just drag that down doesn't matter all of our great 3d tools are there so we have a similar condition shift middle mouse button here okay first thing I'm gonna do is union these together to get that edge in particular around there okay so I can go in here now and I can say union this cylinder in this box hit enter and now I have that object with that uh, with that edge inside of there okay now something you've always been able to do I can go down here to my fillet command normal fillet command on my toolbar and I'm gonna say um, R for radius and I'm going to set it for two units it has to be a relative number you don't want it to be too big you don't want it to be too small do a little bit of math ahead of time and now I'm going to pick on this edge for instance and I'm going to say agree with my two unit radius and I'm going to use the chain option C for chain and I'm going to pick on these four edges and it's going to do beautiful fillet for me on those edges okay I can turn around and use the fillet command and also you can use chamfer here as well okay on our draw it on our um, modify so chamfer and fillet this whole lesson works with both fillet and chamfer but fillet is a little trickier so we thought we'd do this one so fillet okay and now I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna pick this top edge right along the edge there and I'm gonna agree with my two units enter and I'm gonna say C for chain and then I'm gonna hover over and I'm gonna pick this object shift middle mouse button pick that edge hit enter and it's gonna do a nice fillet around that corner now sometimes if you try to do a fillet that's impossible to do if you if you can't make the fillet it it will error out on you okay back to our fillet or let's try chamfer instead and then I'm gonna pick on this edge and I'm gonna say you know um, enter surface selection okay specify base distance so I'm gonna say two units two units select an edge enter and it's gonna do a chamfer instead of a fillet okay over here I did a fillet instead Okay, and we can look at this in our different visual styles once again depending on if there was materials added to it or not okay so we can get different options on there okay let's just spin this around working our way around here maybe we want to fill at the bottom edge of this around here okay so we're going to go back in a 2d fillet all we do is fill it a corner in 2d but in fillet with solids we can fill it the whole solid so I'm going to go fill it off of here fillet and then I'm going to pick on an edge for instance bottom edge of there I'm going to accept my two unit radius I'm going to say C for chain I'm going to pick here and pick around there I'm going to hit enter and then now if I use my shift middle mouse button it's filleted the bottom of that quite nicely 
shift middle mouse okay and then all you really have to do is kind of work your way around with that fillet sometimes you only you can do maybe just a single edge here I'm just gonna maybe do this vertical edge I'm gonna use my fillet command I'm gonna pick on that vertical edge sometimes you might want to change your visual styles here and I'm gonna accept the two inch radius and I'm just gonna hit an enter and finish that off okay done okay let's try it again maybe you want to do this top these top two edges okay fillet or fillet and then I'm gonna pick on that edge right there and I'm gonna accept the two unit radius I'm gonna say C for chain and pick over here and hit enter does a chain effect along there and then again our visual styles maybe I'm gonna take this object change the material later we'll talk about materials I can go in you know pick a color whatever I want change my visual style we have something like that that we can create so practice it maybe have a little look in your help menu and uh, you can see that you can use one edge or you can use uh, the chain edges and then just go around and kind of smooth your objects uh, around and then you can apply your materials so there we have it using the cool new uh, AutoCAD 3D solids with our fillet and our chain option within the fillet command.